Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Akeem Lawanson, and in today's Fix of Entertainment News, we've got updates on Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender series. Now, will it do the animated series justice without the co-creators involved? Well, we talk about it, plus some Kevin Feige Star Wars news you might be interested in, and a whole lot more in today's Fix. Let's drop it. Now, there's some exciting news on the horizon for Avatar fans as Netflix is planning on finally showing us the trailer for The Last Airbender live action adaptation. And with this piece of information, Netflix dropped this poster, giving us a glimpse at some of the recognizable characters from the Nickelodeon animated series, vividly brought to life for this new adaptation. Now, the series is set to premiere on the streaming service sometime in 2024, and its premiere might be without the blessings of the show's co-creators. Now, for those that may not remember, the original creators of Avatar The Last Airbender left the project back in 2020. Now, according to co-creator Michael Dante DiMartino, Netflix was initially committed to bringing the original vision he and his co-creator had in mind, but somewhere down the line, things apparently changed. Now, in his words, quote, unforeseen events arise, plans have to change, and when those things have happened at other points during my career, I try to be like, an air nomad and adapt. I do my best to go with the flow no matter what obstacle is put in my way. But even an air nomad knows when it's time to cut their losses and move on. And who knows? Netflix's live action adaptation of Avatar has the potential to be good. It might turn out to be a show many of you end up enjoying. But what I can be certain about is that whatever version ends up on screen, it will not be what Brian and I had envisioned or intended to make. Uh, this is definitely cause for concern as the ill-fated Cowboy Bebop live-action adaptation Netflix put out a few years back didn't have the creator, Sanichiro Watanabe, attached to the project. And we all saw just how bad that turned out. It did a very poor job of adapting the source material, deviating a bit too much from both the anime and manga. Now, some might argue that the reason why a handful of these live action adaptations of animated shows fail is because of the missing and most vital piece of the puzzle, the original creator's involvement. Now, just look at Netflix's One Piece, which heavily involved Oda-san, the creator of the manga, and it's been one of Netflix's most popular live action adaptations to date. It's already been greenlit for a second season. So while Avatar fans have a lot to be excited about, we might want to temper those feelings until we see a bit more and wait for it to hit Netflix sometime next year. But curious to know what y'all think about this. Are you excited for the live action adaptation of Avatar The Last Airbender? Do you think it's doomed to fail without the animated creators attached to the project? And when you think about it, there must have been some really concerning creative choices on Netflix's part to have the co-creators reassess whether or not they really want to be associated with this particular project. Now let's talk about it down below in the comments. In other news, The Boys Season 4 is another series we can expect sometime in 2024. Now we got these new posters from Prime Video with the reveal showing us Homelander celebrating at what appears to be a stadium and our boy the Butcher at the after party, all alone kicking some balloons. He's not having a good time, clearly. And if you've been watching Gen V, you'll be happy to know that Season 4 of The Boys takes place where that particular series left off. So it might help to get caught up on that particular show on the companion series in preparation for the boys in 2024. Now, fortunately for fans, filming for the upcoming season of the boys was finished before the strike, so it'll be on pace for a 2024 premiere on Prime Video. And finally, that Kevin Feige Star Wars movie ain't happening no more. Now this, according to the man himself. Now speaking with Entertainment Tonight, he had this to say. What's up with the Star Wars movie? Is it happening? I know that's like, is it happening? Any Star Wars movie? Yours. No. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Now this might likely be some confirmation of a Variety report from earlier this year that made mention of both Patty Jenkins's Rogue Squadron movie and Feige's Star Wars movie no longer being in development at the House of Mouse. Now we now know that he won't be playing in a galaxy far, far away, but 
you can play with him, Kevin Feige, in this new Marvel Lego playset. The Lego Avengers Tower comes with a Kevin Feige minifig for you to tuck away in one of those rooms in the playset where he'll likely be toiling away at the next phases of the MCU. At least, you know, that's something special we can look forward to, you know, if you're willing to cough up 500 bucks for that playset. Now, if you can afford it, you can pick it up online come November 24th. And that was your Fix of Entertainment news for today. I'm Akeem Lawanson. Thank you for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous episode. Download the IGN app on all your devices. And for everything else, stick with IGN.